Hi everyone. Um, I want to share with you today how to do uh, mixed media. Um, here's the stuff that I'm going to be working with and um, I've pre-prepped some so the video won't be so long because um, I do want to show you how we put everything together. Uh, the first thing I started with was a plain canvas and um, in fact I got it from Big Lots and um, the first thing I do is I lightly coat it with gesso um, and then I came back in and I mix some of this glazing medium and acrylic yellow ochre and I used a big brush and I just brushed it I kind of I just wanted to go around the edges the outside of it then I came back in with this uh, color wash cranberry color wash I sprayed it and I took a paper towel and I just wiped it so all the spots that I did not hit with the ochre got really really pink looking which I really like I really like that so I left it so then I came in with a sponge uh, with a wet sponge and on my color palette here you'll see uh, I tend to not clean clean it till it builds up bad but I used I pounced some russet um, some of this uh, what color is this 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 is uh, King's Gold King's Gold and this folk art coffee bean as you can see I just use I was I'm going for earth tones I'm getting ready to redo my living room and kitchen and so I'm going with earth tones so then I just pounced and pounced took off some uh, the last thing that I applied was the uh, King's Gold so that that had the lighter edges and I just was kind of going in um in a U shape the next thing that I did was I took this um, this is a new stamp set that I got from Mark's TV and I took this right here and stamped it in memento chocolate and I stamped it around the edges I do, don't put it on a block okay because when you mash in on the canvas it gives okay so if you do a block you're not going to get a clean a clean image okay so the next thing I want to show, I, I really wanted to show you, is how I'm going to go back in, and with the tiny brush, I'm going to pick up some of this King's Gold, and I'm just gonna, I don't know if you can see it because of the shadows and stuff, but I'm just going to put it like right on the edge of each of these petals because I really want them to look three-dimensional I just take my finger and just blot it, blot it down because I just want to highlight it okay so again if you don't even have to be picky on the lines because really and truly this is not the focus of our of our piece but I mean I do want it to look nice and I thought about using some white but I, that's going to just be too stark uh, if you just barely just brush some in on the very very edges you can even do several and then just pounce your little pounce your finger on them and just kind of smudge them in and it'll just blend in with the colors that we've already done um, we've got a really nice uh, verse that we're going to put and we want to get it uh, really framed out well um, this I'm going to be uh, posting this on my blog for my Word Art Wednesday challenge. Um, we do scripture every week, and I just love framing scripture and hanging it in my house. So I just I hope that y'all um, will try this if you haven't already. It's just so so easy, as you can see. And I'm not going to keep you here while I keep doing all this because uh, I'm just going to keep going around my edges. The purpose of um, what I like to do, I saw this on TV a long time ago. Uh, they were doing the walls framing around windows. So what, I'm, what my goal is to kind of frame my scripture and you build up your framing around the edges. So that's, that's why um, now see how much better that looks with just a tiny bit of the uh, King's Gold on there. 
and it wouldn't really matter if you can't find king's gold don't worry about it just get some kind of golden color and i'm going to pause right here and finish the rest of my flowers and i'll be right back okay i'm back um i did decide after putting in the yellow that i did want to add just a tiny bit of green so i used this grass green and just added hints of it here and there on the leaves of it i hope you can see it i hope it's not shining it's just real faint looking and i just want i wanted it to look the whole thing to look aged okay the next thing i did was i printed my free word art which you can get at our blog which is www.wordartwednesday.blogspot.com so i printed it out on just plain beige paper it's pretty good quality craft cardstock uh, i colored in the very top word with some uh, orange believe it or not it doesn't look orange but that's what happens I took my scissors and I just roughed the edges up real good, okay? Then I took um, some Stampin' Up, um, two different colors of the Distress Ink, and Distress, well, first I balled it up in a ball, as you can see, all the wrinkles and crinkles, and then used the Stampin' Up ink on it, okay? Then you kind of have to, like, straighten it back out. And to tell you the truth, it really feels like an old map or something, it's a very cool if it rips that's good we want it to look old and antique uh, then I took a piece of brown and I um, have a little border on it I die cut the edges of it use whatever die cut you have and then I use the mahogany distress ink around the edges of that and um, it just looks so weathered looking so we're gonna put that down right there and we're going to use uh, Mod Podge Matte Finish. And normally, I cover the whole back of mine pretty heavy because uh, I want it to stick really good. So that just takes just a minute. I use a wide brush. This is the only thing I use this brush for. I dipped it too far. Uh, is just Mod Podge. That's it. I have it in a, I store it in my holder in a separate place so I don't get it mixed up and get any paint in it. So we want this, I want it in the middle. So now we're going to kind of come around, smooth it down really good so you don't have any, um, and it doesn't matter if the Mod Podge gets anywhere else, but we want this to stick really, really good and you want to be sure and get all your edges and uh, mash down it probably wouldn't even hurt because my canvas is kind of thick i want to be sure that it gets stuck down so you want to try to be sure now you can always go back if your edges are not completely stuck just go ahead and do them it's not going to hurt anything. Uh, when this dries, you're not going to see any lines or anything. And then we're going to seal this down. Actually, this is the best part. You can be messy. Not going to hurt anything. Because our, our next thing we're going to put down is our scripture. So we need this totally covered anyway. Okay. You just you just want to be generous because if you don't put enough, I will you will have um, bubbles, air pockets get in there. So you want to be sure and get that covered real good. And you don't want it too thick either. It's got to be even. Now, so that it will stick well, and I'm gonna get this excess off. Put it on both sides. It's not gonna hurt anything. I tell you, this paper is just so nice. Um, I just I got it at um, Big Lots at uh, Myrtle Beach, so I don't even it didn't have a name on it really. I looked so I could see to tell you, but I would use good thick cardstock. Okay, doesn't matter if the front gets it; it's going to get it anyway. And then we're going to stick this down. Yes, it is kind of messy, but I kind of like it. I kind of like it. And you know what? Um, I really want my edges up 
um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, when this dries, this Mod Podge is gonna be, it's gonna be stiff, okay? So, uh, again, rub this down good from the middle out. Get that, get that, um, worked in. And then I'm gonna take this skewer, just a little bit of skewer. Well, this is almost stuck down anyway. My dog wants attention, so he is, um, making noises at me. So see how that's curled up right there? I like it. I want I want that look. If you need to roll it up a little bit, just do it. That'll just get it started. And that and that's I think it's very authentic looking. And I'm gonna leave that. This side I need down. I'm gonna put flowers on this side. Snickers lay down, huh? Lay down. I'm busy. Okay. So now let's um, coat this with some Mod Podge. And don't forget where you stuck your uh, edges up so that uh, it stays raised and that will just dry hard. It, was, it won't mess up or anything. That's the great thing about this Mod Podge. And at this point, if you use matte, it's not as noticeable. Um, if you don't cover a little tiny spot, which I plan on covering the whole thing. Anyway, and you can go back over again. That doesn't hurt anything either. Okay. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Oh, no. I have these things from Kay and Company. Okay. It's still time enough. We're going to rip this up because I want this down in here. See? We all make mistakes, don't we? It's no big deal no big deal we're going to pull that up we're going to stick this down real fast I always tell them at work there's hardly any mistake that we can't fix and it's the same thing same thing is true with art although you do want to put some more of this down so this will stick back okay get your edges going and I'll have to definitely take a break and uh, I wanted this little piece that says Daisy Garden. I want to stick it in right there. So, Snickers, I'm busy, honey. I can't, I can't see. I want that edge up, so let's stick that edge back up. And even if I could pet you, I got, I got Mod Podge all over me here. Okay. Now I had this piece too. I was going to use, but. Really and truly, since I have added all the detail to the flowers, I really don't want to cover any of those up. I, I really, really like how they turned out. So we're gonna, we're just gonna, we're gonna put some Mod Podge around here a little bit. Um, now the next thing we're gonna do, I want to show you. Um, these are Wild Art Orchid craft flowers. Um, this is a single. A single petal and I have stuck that through to make that right there and I want to show you how you curl your edges you see how it's got this stem on it I just pull it wrap it around your skewer like that and pull it out you got a cute little thing now I want this to go right here so we're gonna take some of our Mod Podge this is definitely gonna be a three-dimensional piece just smear it on there and I went right there. Okay. Now, believe it or not, this is gonna hold. This is this Mod Podge holds this stuff down. Okay. It's gonna dry clear and it's gonna hold. Okay. Now, this is the next size rose. It's called an open rose, and, she, and there and it comes like in all sizes. You you just wouldn't even believe it. And to tell you the truth, I don't think I want to tail on this one. So, all you got to do is take some scissors that are not your good scissors. Don't use your good ones. And we'll just... I did wash my hands before I came back, but you can't tell it, can you? And I just want to stick this in right here. And I'll cut the tail off too. Bend it down. I don't like to cut it all the way to the end. I'm scared my flower will come apart. Just do some good. And you want to work in odd numbers. Sorry about that. My, my camera cut off. 
So anyway, I don't like wasting these. So I cut it in half because when I start tucking in, tucking them in, I've curled these, both of these. I'm going to put them opposite right here. And when I start tucking stuff in, I'm going to try to be more neater this time. Um, well, so much for that. But it takes a minute for this to dry, and that's okay, because we need to be tucking stuff in. So here, we're going to tuck this in here, and have that coming up. Put a little glue under there. Okay. And here's another one. I have a plain leaf right here, and they're, they're bendable because they've got these wires in them. And I've, I've doubled up this, so I really like doubling this up. And I need to cut some of that stem off, so we're going to cut that off. Tuck this in right here. And as you see, I have extras. Here's another one that I just wound together. Can you see that? And... You can bend these. They just they just do whatever you want. And I'm just going to stick that right there because that's already got so many of my flowers on there. Um, I, I just didn't want the video to last forever. And I want to use this one. I do need to cut that stem off of that. I don't like curling all my stems. And I want this to go like right here. Okay. Now here's our little half one. So let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to bend this up like this. We're going to bend this side up. Put our glue. And we're going to tuck him in right there. Hold your other flowers in place and tuck it in. And see how that's just standing out. We didn't need the whole thing. And it'll make your uh, flowers last twice as long. Now I still have this one because I wanted some more of this color on this side. So, we're gonna, and as you see, I've used the other half on this one. And we're going to tuck him in right here. Because this won't be framed at all. I'm just dripping glue everywhere over here. And I have a third one. Um, yeah, he could go right there. That looks just fine. Just looks fine, fine. So we'll put that one like right there. Okay, and they're going to hold. And if you need to add more glue, just add more glue. If it moves, that's okay. And you know I don't have any ribbon on here. I love ribbon, so, um, and I also, um, I have a, um, little bitty piece, I love, um, pearls as well. She has these little bitty rosebuds, I thought I would tuck some of these in too, because, um, there again, this is how they come. See, they come in these long leaves, like this, and if you want to do a little spray, you just wind them up like that right there I don't need all the stems so I'm going to cut them off here's my little spray and we're going to tuck that in um, sometimes like I said I'm not real good with placement yet I'm still just practicing and just doing what I think looks good so I am done with this I'm going to stick this in my water so my brush won't get stiff on me and I always close up my Mod Podge because I do not, um, I don't know how quickly it will dry out. Um, one other tip that I was going to do, and I did forget, I was going to cut some skeleton leaves. Um, Wild Orchid Roses also sells skeleton leaves, but I'm going to make my own. I just got this ribbon in from Stampin' Up. It's called Crumb Cake. It's about um, two and a half, three and a half inches wide. And so as you can see, it's like sheer. Isn't that nice looking? Um, but I did forget to do that. And it's too late because uh, I would have put it underneath my flowers. And it's just too late. So um, I'm going to be right back. We're going to let some of this glue dry. 
and uh, I may touch a few more spots up and then come back and show you what it looks like and add maybe a couple more little details uh, to it for a finished product. Okay, I've decided that I want a boat. I'm going to put it up in here. So I've grabbed another wild rose and some champagne ribbon from Really Reasonable Ribbon. And I'm going to wrap it around my hand. Not firmly, but not with your fingers closed. I, I want it kind of large. These are my scissors for just cutting ribbon. And I'm going to cut it right there. And then it's still not big enough because I wanted to. So we're going to have to lose one of the tails. Pull it out a little bit more here. And then you're going to gather it. Gather it. Well, it's just not working out. Okay, that's not going to work. So the other bow that I like to do is doing two rabbit ears and tying them like a shoestring and I learned from somebody online that if you pull the back of the bow okay the back two pieces your bow will kind of stay at the same size but I've already got it too big so you just got to pull it and work with it pull it and work with it Normally, I don't have this much trouble with it. Maybe you're better at bows than me. Anyway, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Because I want a fairly large bow, because this is a corner, so I'm going to frame it again. I don't like covering up my flowers that I painted, but I just feel like I need some ribbon on it. That's the great thing about art. We can do what we want, can't we? So if you like yours without it, don't put it. That's the great thing. Okay, now this is steel. This is this is this is a good size for me. Maybe pull it a little bit, and then I take my flower and I'm gonna wrap this around to hold it in place. And I could have just gathered it and not tied it, I guess. I don't know. Sometimes I fool with stuff and fool with it and. So I'll just get it where I really, really like it. And that's sometimes you just have to do that. And I like the tails. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see how because of what I'm thinking, see I have some tail left, but I might cut that. I'm gonna I will cut that off. But kind of place it up there. And I kind of was thinking about maybe uh, tucking it a little bit. So right here, I'm going to cut. So it'll be maybe like that. And then maybe cut this side a little farther down. Like this. Just cut it in a V. Let's get that out of the way. And I did tuck in some pearls. I just couldn't resist. Wild Orchid Flowers also sells these gorgeous little pearls. And we're going to put some in with this. We're going to cut off about, mm, about that much. And we're going to add that to it too and get some of that white up in here. So that's going to, I'm going to get our Mod Podge back out. As you can see, this is the, what we've already done is drying. My brush is still in the water, so all i got to do is just take it out, wipe it off. Some, get some on here slap it on the canvas and I just I really don't I don't want this to be like in a certain place I want it to just kind of float with the ribbon once we poke this ribbon on it's going to hold we're going to cut the tail off okay here's our ribbon with it a little bit more. My sister-in-law does the best bows. And again, we're going to slather it in this Mod Podge. And stick that baby down. 
and I want that to show but I kind of want this right here too so I'm just going to put in a little glue right there and I'm going to kind of pinch it pinch it up a little bit okay and then this is going to hold right here it's really nice And then we're just totally framing that out. Maybe a little bit much now, but hopefully not. Hopefully not. I'll get back a little bit. Because I, I like the movement of the, um, the ribbon, like not being flat. I really don't want it flat. And I do like this to, I want, I want this to show. So I'm going to try to put a little heavier coat of that right there. So when that dries, it will be coated. And I'm just going to hold this. I'll be back when I'm finished.